potential of man. Once again, he's the first of all kind of power. We simply can't do what you are the end goal. We must be courageous when we work this step. Will the prospect of making a man may threaten us? We turn to the good of our understanding for strength. Our higher power is with us as we make each of our amends. We rely on the presence of that power. No matter how strong we are about approaching the people we have harmed. We may hesitate. Fearing other people won't accept us as readily as our fellow non-members have. However, we have not let recovery addicts that hold a monopoly on payment or forgiveness. Other people are capable of accepting us as we are and understanding our problems. But whether they are willing to accept us or not, we must go on with making our amends to them. The risk we take is sure to be rewarded with increased personal freedom. The spiritual principles of honesty and humility that we learned in earlier steps are invaluable to us in the night. We would never be able to approach the people who do the old man in the spirit of humility if we hadn't been practicing this principle before now. The honest examination we use to wrap our inventory and make our mission. The ego deflation brought about by our work in the sixth and seventh steps, and the realistic look at how we found others have all worked together to increase our community and provide us with the motivation needed to work the ninth step. Our path has led us to complete we can be and who we are becoming. The something is it's a desire to make amends to all those we have harmed. This desire to make amends should be the primary motive for working the ninth step. Making amends isn't something we do simply because our program of recovery suggests it. To be certain our motives are based in spiritual principles. We find it helpful to reaffirm our decision to turn our will over to the care of the good of our understanding before making each of our men. Like our preachers, they are so we provide us with the guidance we need. Say she too. We should not expect a on the fact or choice for living in accordance with the principle of recovery. People may respond to our men in many different ways. They may or may not appreciate our men. The relationships we have with those people may get better. They may not. We may be sent. Or we may be told. It's a lot when you did this. We must let go of any expectation. We call them for our women. We turn off and leave the results to the good of our understanding. It is very important that we do our absolute best to make amends. Once we have done that, however, 
our hug is finished. We tell you that our men magically feel the feelings of someone we have harmed. We may humbly ask for forgiveness, but if we don't resume it, we let that expectation go. We may have done our best. As we are making a man, we ask ourselves if we are doing this because we are doing sorry and have a genuine desire to make reparation for what we've done. If we answer yes to this question, we can be assured that we are approaching our man in the true spirit of unity and love. Taking our community in focus, we ask for help from our sponsors. Whenever possible, we discuss each of our women with our sponsor before we set our community. We tell our sponsor what we are making and for, what we are planning to say, and what we intend to offer to set the situation right. What we intend to offer as a man should be appropriate to the we type. For instance, if we borrowed money from someone and never paid it back, we don't really apologize. We pay the money back. We talk directly to the person we found and demand exactly what we did wrong. When we make amends, because we have felt a resentment against in the past, an attitude of humility is imperative. We don't want to go to someone instead of making amends and then up in a shopping match over who was injured possibly. Even though we are sure to tell a man to make two people who fell also from us, we must set our first feelings aside. Our responsibility is to make a man for what we have done wrong, not to call others to admit how they have wronged us. In our experience, Making a man is a two-step process. Not only do we make a man to the person we harm, we follow up on those amends with a serious change in our behavior. We met our senses and we met our voice. For example, some of us may have destroyed someone property or we was angry. When we make our amends, we not only apologize to the person and replace all the terrible property, we get that up by repairing our attitudes. We amend our behavior, making a daily effort not to express anger by damaging property anymore. Changing the way we live is a lifetime process and is perhaps the most significant romance we can make. Some of the people we come, like our families, were also with being close for a long time, have suffered for it. Comments of this nature can be made in a five-minute apology no matter how hard Although an admission of wrong and an apology may be the starting point, we need to go on by making a concerted daily effort to stop hurting our loved ones. If we have not our families, 
spending time with them. If we can be that way, I'll always forget in birthdays, land anniversaries. People think to be that way instead. Remembering those important events. If we can be inconsiderate, I'll always grab asking what we wanted and needed. We not to be too insensitive to the needs of others. Of course, we may not have an ongoing relationship with some of the people we have found. For instance, if we are divorced from a spouse with whom we had children, we may owe child support payments. Making such amends does not require flexibility and emotional. Sushi, relationship with our ex-partner. Remembering that our obligations are more than financial, we can work on a mutually acceptable plan to fulfill those obligations to our children. The last action we take in this step can have a profound impact on other people. We don't want to just carelessly step out and start making our amends without first discussing them in detail with our sponsor. Some of us can first contact to make our amends and an impulse just to ease our own conscience. However, we usually ended up doing no harm than good. Suppose that, in our boss cup, we look at all people we had secretly resented for years. Unbeknownst to those people, we had ridiculed, judged, and condemned them or otherwise defamed their character to others. Look at all that character assassination was taking place behind those people's steps. Do we now go through them and confess? Certainly not. The ninth step is not the sense to clear our functions at the expense of someone else. Our sponsor will tell us find a way to make appropriate amends without passing additional harm. Though it seems obvious that we wouldn't make direct amends in a situation where we would injure someone, we may find that we can question about how to make direct amends when the person to whom we owe them is the same. Impossible to find, or love thousands of miles away. There are many ways to make effective direct amends without doing it in person. If someone we all instances, we may find it very effective to write a letter saying everything we would say if the person was still alive. Then, perhaps, we may read that letter to our sponsor. It may be a noble desire to want to make amends in person to someone who died thousands of miles away, but most of us left the means to travel great distances solely for that purpose. In such situations, a telephone call or a letter to serve the same purpose as an amends made in person. The people on our list who we can find should remain on our list. An opportunity to make a man may present itself later on, even years later. 
in the meantime, we must remain willing to make those amends. Of course, we should never avoid making amends. It person will be because we are afraid of facing the person we can harm. We make every effort to find the people we can harm and make the best amends we can make. Choosing the best way to make amends requires careful consideration and time spent searching our conscience for what is right. Some of us have to this situation that can be corrected. Or that I may have left permanent physical or emotional scar or even cast someone's death. We must somehow learn to live with such things. We live with indescribable remorse over such acts and wonder what we could possibly do to make amends. This is where we can no choice but to rely on our higher power. We may have difficulty in forgiving ourselves, but we can ask for the forgiveness of a loving God. We sit down, become quiet in the presence of our higher power, and ask for guidance in what we should do. Many of us have found answers in dedicating our lives, helping other addicts and other forms of service to humanity. There are no easy answers for problems like this. We simply do the very best we can, relying on our sponsor and the blood of our understanding for guidance. For many of us, the method of our past includes such relatively minor things as outstanding arrest warrants for traffic violations, while others can commit a crime and paying very serious consequences. We may find ourselves creating ammo over such issues. If we turn our wealth into the authorities, we may go to jail. If we turn, we may leave in fear of being caught and sent to jail anyway. This the help of our sponsor and the good of our understanding. We are willing to do whatever it takes to maintain our recovery. We may also have to rely on legal advice before making such amends. Consulting a lawyer about this problem can be a great benefit. So she for especially troublesome financial amends may also require professional advice. Many of us have a mess that set an alarming rate. We may owe financial amends that are beyond our means to pay in the foreseeable future. Some of us may owe things that are not more than we can conceivably earn in the next several years. Some of us really paid our rent utility bills or phone bills. We may have found it easier to offer our lives and loan rather than meet our financial obligations. Just as we do for all of our amends, we discuss our financial amends with our support. Some of us have begun providing for our families since we've been in recovery. They are dependent on us for their food and shelter. We usually find that we have budget 
our money very carefully in order to meet our current living expenses while being as much as possible on our wisdom. We may resolve such situations by protecting our creditors, explaining our situation, and expressing our desire to settle our debts. We agree on a reasonable plan for being on our debts, and we stick to it. This is an example of how living our romance is a success rather than a once and for all occurrence. It takes great discipline, personal sacrifice, and commitment to continue to pay a bill for him and him. But we can retain our self-respect only by following through. I'm making amends for the damage we did in intimate relationships to be extremely uncomfortable. As we wrote our first step, we realized that we not only robbed ourselves of the chance for meaningful relationships, we also cut the emotional wounds in our partners. Our things on intimacy or commitment may have led us to be unthinkable to or abandon the people who love us. We are generally unavailable to the people. While there are times when we need to approach such people with our men, there are other times when it is best Knowing the difference requires complete honesty on our part and open communication with our sponsor. Whether or not we make direct comments on the people we found in relationships, we definitely need to change the way we behave in our relationship today. If we ran from intimacy for long, we need to sit down and learn to communicate with our partners. We must become more considerate, sensitive, and attentive to the needs of others. Sometimes, the only way we can make amends is to change the way we live. As discussed in the next step, we may all amend to our community or society as a whole. Though this may seem to be an abstract concept, we must make concrete amends by changing our behavior. If we harm society, we start to make amends becoming a productive member of society. We contribute, we look for what to be, not take. Our recovery is also a way of making amends to ourselves. We treated ourselves horribly in our medical addiction. The big and shaky from each can become the number human being to fight a toll on our self-respect. Our addiction to me has in a thousand different ways. Now, in recovery, we learn to treat ourselves in ways that demonstrate our self-respect. The most important results of the ninth step will be fun within ourselves. This step teaches us a great deal about humility, love, selflessness, and forgiveness. We will be looking from our addiction and no longer think we said many regrets. We grow spiritually and find that we 